space. Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Joe DeTore, also known as Dr. Deep Sea, and I'm on day 49 of a 100 day expedition to do three things. One is biomedical research on myself. Two, outreach to people, outreach to kids, to talk to them about science, technology, engineering, and math. And third and finally, I get visiting scientists down here to talk about their stuff so that we can talk about preservation, protection, rejuvenation of the marine environment. Importantly, I wanted to talk to you about the space that I'm living in. So here I am at the end of a 20 foot tube that is eight feet in diameter, but realistically usable space is about three and a half feet wide. It's about six feet tall. So we have a sink. We also have a coffee maker because I can tell you this from, from experience, science does not happen without coffee. We also have a microwave right down here. And the only thing that I can cook with is a microwave because, because of the laws of physics and partial pressure of oxygen is increased when I get down here. So the partial pressure of oxygen is about 36%. That means I can't have an open flame, I can't have a cooktop, nothing like that. The only thing we can cook in is a microwave. So we have to work around this type stuff. Then we move to the refrigerator. So you can see my freezer is about a college dorm size freezer and fridge. Just the essential down here, I get food about once every three days, give or take. There is a TV in here, but I've never turned it on. I truly don't know how to turn it on. Then I have my science area here, right? And as you walk through the science area, you see it gets a little messy, but I have a lot of science stuff here from EEGs to EKGs, electrocardiograms, electroencephalograms, things to scan my heart, my lungs. I'm also doing pulmonary function tests while I'm down here, so it's a lot. One thing to note is that this, this ceiling is about six foot one inch, so I get to do a lot of strucking down and, and like scrunching, if you will. So it's kind of tough, but we're working on that. Also, we have right here the internet, which is all important, and that's the only way we get stuff in and out of this place is by going on internet. That's how we do all of our outreach, right there. Here is our junction door. You have to bend over and slide this thing open, and I get to bend my six foot one, 220 pound body in half as I go through, but we're going out to the moon pool, so come with me. So here we are out in the moon pool and it's a little louder out here as you can tell. First thing we have is a restroom because what goes in must come out. It's an RV type restroom, there's a holding tank and it's got a macerator pump. So we get to pump that to the surface on a daily basis. I just did that and I do it regularly. Then we have a box of the shower which is basically just a regular shower, it comes down from the surface. Sometimes the water is even hot which is really kind of a bonus. Um, and then we have the moon pool. Every good hotel has to have a pool, right? I have a moon pool right here, and this is what we have. As a matter of fact, if you look right down there, there's a fish just swimming on the bottom of my moon pool, just hanging out, not doing anything, minding his own business. Uh, he just swam away and underneath. Right. And then I'm gonna walk into this side, which is the visiting scientist cabin. So as we crawl up in here, As we crawl up in here, we get to see that we have a twin size bunk on the bottom and then a even smaller bunk on top. So this bunk that's on top is about one foot less wide than a twin size bed. So you can imagine that's small. I'm 6'1", 220 pounds. My shoulders hardly fit on that top rack. So it's not exactly the most ideal thing, but this is science and we're a little cramped. So, each one of the visiting scientists and people that are in here have a, a window. We get to have a window to the world. Same thing, we found Nemo, you can tell where he is, but it's a very small, tight cabin. So it's very akin to living in a tiny house or on a boat, and this is the kind of lifestyle that we have. Total usable space, I would say, is about 100 square feet of usable space for me. About 60 square feet over there and about 40 square feet over here and it is what it is. I enjoy being down here. I think it's a great thing, but we are doing exploration and sometimes you're not in the best, uh, you know, you're not at the Hilton all the time or the, the Marriott. So the more you know, I figured you'd like a little tour of my place where I'm living. Thanks.